Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you for stopping by today. Have you ever cried your eyes out about something? Well, in my 71 years of life, the opportunity to cry tears has presented itself a time or two. I remember a time many years ago when family members came over to visit and we were all at my mom's house and this little boy was about four years old and we all heard him begin wailing and crying and we were all just kind of rooted to the spot and my mom says come here let me see and then little boy came running into the living room where my mom was sitting in her chair and showed her his little index finger. He had hurt it somehow. And my mom has always had a talent with little children. She has a nurturing ability about her that she was just born with. In fact, she had a daycare center many years ago and the little kids just loved her and even after they grew up some of them would call her occasionally and talk with her because they love her well my mom knew how to handle this situation with the little crying boy and I watched her in action wondering what she was going to do and she told the little boy she said see Papa See him sitting over there in the sofa? Go over there and let him kiss it. And the pain will all go away and he'll make it all better. The little boy just trusted every word my mom said. And he ran over there and let his papa kiss his little finger. And then he started smiling. And it just fixed everything. It's just wonderful. And I remember another time when my little sister, Linda, was very, very young. And she began crying about something. And my mom picked her up, was trying to comfort her. Well, Linda just wouldn't be comforted. She wasn't having any of it. She kept on crying. And pretty soon my mama went and got this little bottle and took it to Linda and put that little bottle underneath her eye and said, Did you know that God keeps a record of all of our tears and He stores our tears up in a little bottle? And that made Linda just start laughing and laughing. And but did you know God does that? That's what his word says. It says that he stores our tears in a bottle. Why does God do this? God loves us all so much. He keeps a record of everything in our lives. He even remembers our tears. And the Bible says he stores them up in a bottle. And he remembers the reason why we cried. And if we call upon him, he will answer our prayers. And there was this other time when my youngest sister, Sherry, has some grandchildren. And they came over to visit my mom. And they were walking through the door. And my great nephew, Khalil, was probably around five years old at the time. And... My sister accidentally shut the door on his little fingers. And my sister was telling me later, she said, Brenda, that door was absolutely shut. His little fingers were in that door. And he started screaming and wailing, and they went in the house. And my mom came in there and brought some ice and was putting ice on his little fingers. But they began praying and crying out to God to heal Khalil's little fingers. And Sherry said that she had visions of them 
taking Khalil to the ER and having to remove his fingers because they were just crushed. So pretty soon Mama said to Khalil, she said, Khalil, say, Jesus, heal me. And he wailed, Jesus, heal me. And before their very eyes, his little hand was just completely normal. Now, I just call that a wall-eyed miracle. You know what wall-eyed means, don't you? Wall-eyed means, if you've ever been around horses and they get frightened, their eyes get huge in astonishment and fear. That's what wall-eyed means. I just call that a wall-eyed miracle. God answered that little child's prayer when he cried out to God and said, Jesus, heal me. God is concerned about our tears. He hears the prayers of a little child. And Rhonda, Khalil's other grandma, says, God is teaching Khalil about himself. And God begins teaching children at a very young age about his presence and that he is real. And I remember when I was very young and Mom took us all out on a ride in the car and, and she said, let's say Psalm 23. And we started quoting Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. And I felt God's presence come into that car. I was standing up in the back seat and that was the day before seat belts. But I felt God's presence come in that car. And you can't convince me that little children can't feel God's presence because they do. I sure did. And I have felt God's presence all of my life. But God pays attention to our tears and he answers our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.